Happy New Year, Rankers. How are you going? Well, that one's over, thank goodness. And it looks like we've got more of the same this year. Hopefully not. Uh, well, one thing we hope is going to happen is that uh, the big uptick in online shopping that happened last year seems to be continuing through this year. We did notice in Australia that uh, Black Friday... Uh, certainly eclipsed Boxing Day. There was a lot of that. I don't know why. Um, we'll see what happens this year. It could be different again. Don't know. It could flip back. Who knows? But I did mention towards the end of last year, about uh, just briefly, about a new report that is available in Google Search Console. And I haven't seen terribly much written about it. Uh, but it is available for all sites in, in Google Search Console now, the ones that we've encountered. I haven't seen anyone that doesn't have it. Um, <clears throat> but it's worth looking at because we've discovered uh, two major issues with two major e-commerce platforms. I'm not going to tell you who they are, but you might want to go and have a look um, because we've already, we're already talking to one of these platforms about the, uh, the problem that's been uncovered with this new Crawl Stats report. And we're digging deeper into uh, another one and then we'll reach out to them as well and just have a chat to them about it as well. Because it's given us a lot more detail than what we've ever had before. Uh, this was actually my favorite report, the old one, group, uh, the Crawl Stats report, because it used to show uh, an average download time of a page over time. And you could sort of correspond some of that data to what was maybe happening in Pingdom or changes on the site, those sorts of things. So you get an idea of the speed changes that the Google bot was encountering uh, directly. And this new report breaks down all the bots for us it breaks down the types of requests the bot is making. It uh, tells us why the bot was making that request, the sorts of responses it got, what it's downloading. Uh, and <clears throat> a couple of things, this is one of the things that we've, we've discovered. And that is, in fact, one of, the, one of the platforms seems to have both of the issues that I just mentioned. And uh, if you have a look at here, it says that, um, by response, uh, we had 48% 200 OK, but we had 46% 400 and something. Now, 400 and something is usually an error of some type, right? So we went and checked these, and they're all 403s. And a 403 is a forbidden error, meaning that you're not allowed to go and see it. It just so happens that the way that this e-commerce platform is being used is that when people unpublish a product or a page or something like that, it actually returns a 403 when someone goes to try to request it. Normally that would be a 404 and that's perfectly fine. But in the case of a 403, it's telling the Google bot in the world something else, something differently. And you can see there, there is a large amount of time spent looking at those 403s. 43 percent, put the glasses on. 46% of the time, it is um, encountering uh, those errors, which is not great, right? Now, the other error that we found, and this platform has both of them, but it's also present in a, sorry about the dogs in the studio. <laughs> and, hey, it's a home studio. Uh, this one is by the Googlebot type. So, Google bot lists the different Google bots. The Google bot list. Google lists the different Google bots, and you can see there you've got the smartphone, you've got desktop, and you've got the image bot. Now, interestingly, this one is using a lot of the page resource load bot rather than the image bot, maybe. But we've noticed this with a couple of sites, and the ones that we have gone and checked is we notice a lot of the pages are only loading maybe 50% of the page resources, uh, which is odd, right? So there's a lot of stuff in here that you can go and have a look in and do a deep dive. I would recommend definitely setting up uh, a domain property 
as well. So a domain property covers your HTTPS, dub, 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 HTTP, dub, 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 and then without the Ws as well. So if you set up the domain property, it's gonna list all those different uh, domains for you to have a look at individually and find out maybe that the Google bot is going to a domain that you don't really want it going to anymore. We've found that with a couple of, of clients, old staging domains, um, old advertising domains, testing domains, these sorts of things that the client never even knew were still live, but they happened to be in the Google bot was sending. Now, all of this is just good housekeeping, right? It's just about making the site work better, making the site more readable and easy to access for Google. So hopefully that's helpful. If you are not subscribed, you should subscribe because we're going to be having a webinar probably late February at this stage. And I'll be talking about which, which platforms I've pointed out here and a bunch of other stuff as well that we didn't cover last year. So if you are a retailer, maybe you've been in business, maybe three, four years, something like that, looking to go to the next level, this is for you. It's not for a startup type uh, new e-commerce uh, new e-commerce store or anything like that. It's someone who has been around the traps for a little while and you need to go to that next level because you've seen a bit of an uptick in 2020. Hopefully that's helpful. Have a great year, everyone. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments on YouTube or on LinkedIn. I'm no longer on Facebook or Twitter uh, because of their censorship rules. I'm just I'll get banned eventually. So I figure it's better off to take a preemptive strike. We'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.